While Thor was helping us track down Loki, we asked him about any potential threats to Midgard, but sorry, Earth. One of his stories was about an ancient race called the Dark Elves, led by Malekith, who attempted to use something called the Aether to bring darkness to the Nine Realms. It sounded kind of serious, but Thor assured us it was all settled thousands of years ago. Why do I still have a bad feeling about this? Long before the birth of light, there was darkness. And from that darkness came Malekith, a dark elf who millennia ago sought to return our universe back into one of eternal night. Using the power of the Aether, an ancient force of infinite destruction, my father vanquished Malekith in a mighty war. It was a tale he recounted so often that he truly lived up to the name King Bor. At the climax of the battle, the Aether was destroyed. Or so we believed until Jane Foster, Thor's girlfriend from the wrong side of the Bifrost, somehow managed to stumble upon it, waking an ancient evil from his slumber, with only one layabout to defend her. And my favorite son in prison, Asgard was in more peril than it had ever faced. Turn to yourselves, no further harm will come to you. You have my word. <laughs> Very well, you do not have my word. It's as if they resent being in prison. There's no pleasing some creatures. <laughs> How can a man be so casual when faced with this chaos? He always was one for mischief. Be thankful, my dear friend, for he's doing nothing but merely knitting. Splendid work, my friend. Never thought I'd have to break myself out of the dungeon. Oh, one swing of my trusty axe would have us out of here in no time. If there is another one of those big chaps like I suggest you start with him this time, Thor.
no minor skirmish. Asgard is in danger. Come, we must take the fight to these intruders and end this. <laughs> Our king needs us! Strange fellows, these. I'm impressed by their resilience to my charming smile. I think I'm After you manage to consume four wild boars, six pheasants, a side of beef, and two caskets of broth. One must not fight on an empty stomach, pal. Now, for Asgard! <laughs> Lump of a son, Thor added Malekith's escape to his considerable list of heroic failures. His only option was to seek the help of his brilliant brother, cruelly locked away and forgotten in Asgard's dungeons. Defying my orders, they fled Asgard through secret ways long forgotten. And together as brothers, they stood to face our greatest foe. Trust me, brother. Would you? No, I wouldn't. I can trust you. Trust my rage. Loki! Now!
Easy. Everyone would do it. Loki. My favorite son. A cold man, yes, but a giant in his way. Gave his very life for Goldilocks, the hammer lover. By more luck than design, my lesser son and his girlfriend managed to return to Earth and regroup with the rabble they call friends. They hatched a plan that held the very future of the universe in its balance. Thor, are you there? You've been off the grid a while now. Our sensors are detecting abnormal energy around your location. Are you triggering that? <laughs> Convergence will be in full effect in seven minutes. That just means we have to keep Malekith busy for eight. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying the phase meter now. You might want to hold on to something. Huh? 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 You know, with all that power, I thought you'd head hard. Your universe was never meant to be! Hey! <laughs> 
You needn't have come so far as Guardian. Death would have come to you soon enough. Not by your hand. Out of time. I've come to accept your surrender. You think you can stop this? The ether cannot be destroyed. But you can. So despite everything, the big lug won the day with the considerable sacrifice of his brilliant brother. What a shameful waste. If only Loki had lived to rule Asgard. What a king he would have made. Glorious and... Burdened with glorious purpose. 